and welcome to WRPB and WRPB Studios. It's kind of a tough time because I'm running the board, I'm doing the interview, and it all falls on me today. With me, I have this pretty young lady who has a story that's really kind of interesting, and your name is Stephanie, and your yes. company is Lamona. Lamona. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Where did the name Lamona come from? Well, uh, I moved down here from New Hampshire, okay. and I moved to Florida, and I wanted everything to be bright and yellow, and so I have a thing for lemons okay. <laughs> and for sunflowers, and um, I actually picked up a doll because I had gotten a little rocking chair, long story short, and I named her Lamona. Okay. So when I started my business, that became Lamona. That became Lamona. So... <coughs> But the business you're in today is really kind of an offshoot of something you did prior, right? Correct. So you come down here, what were you doing? I was making jewelry. Okay. I um, started a business named Lamona, making jewelry, um, turquoise bracelets and sunflower uh, bracelets, yellow, bright. And then um, I moved on to, uh, I had a regular nine to five job. Huh. And Just about broke. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then I just started um, seeing on the side of the road and um, just different articles of furniture. And um, I had this passion just to pick them up and start painting them. Rebirthing them. Yeah. And then um, I got the opportunity. I had gone into Treasure Coast Families a few times and spoke to Linda. And um, went in there one day just looking for paint. And she said that she had, you know, an opening and would I like to come and put my things in her store? And uh, that's how I've grown. And okay, so <coughs> what you do is you rebirth uh, older things. I do. So vintage stuff, you would take, fix, either sand, paint. I, yeah, palm sand it. And okay. I'm down to its natural wood. And then I paint it, uh, nine chances out of 10, chalk paint, <laughs> um, distress it. I also um, do private, you know, if you have a piece of furniture that you'd like repainted or if there's a piece of furniture that you're looking for and say it's an end table or a coffee table, a chair, anything that you're looking for that um, you don't have time to go out and look for, you know, you can go to my Facebook page, which is Lamona, or um, you can message me and I will be happy to go out. And um, it down. yeah, hunch a piece of furniture down, paint it for you, whatever color you'd like. And um, also, like I said, if you have one sitting in your house, be happy to paint it for you. And that's trouble because she was sitting in my office and she was eyeing this one piece that I have. <laughs> but that's cool because you, with all the stuff I have in my office, you eyed that one piece because, and that's a cool little piece. It is. And you have that eye for what is cool and what has, for lack of a better word, a future. I, I like, I'm very um, eclectic. I like very unique things, and that's what my eye pretty much catches is the uniqueness, how I can paint it and how I can make it more unique, and also how it fits in with your um, decor. So <coughs> when we were talking, we were talking about where your stuff is in this shop yes and it's in the back room it well what it is is um your cashier is right here and as you walk straight down when you walk through the door you keep walking till you can't walk anymore and that's my shop it is bright colors <laughs> um i've gone into different places vendors and um they only like kind of like the whites and the blues but i am more of the very the yellows the corals the uh turquoise and i you walk in and it's just you can't miss it because it's so bright well coral is a big color here in florida right okay coral um, and turquoise and right the and, sea foam right um you know I'm colorblind, so it's a little different for me. <laughs> for me. I actually am shade blind. Like, I'll see, like, I know my walls are blue, you know, but, like, a purple will look blue to me and stuff like that. Right. Um, but it takes a special eye to be able to see a piece and make something of it. My first wife's dad was the same way. He'll be driving home from work in his truck and see a piece on the side of the road. Yeah. He'll take that piece and he'll make something of it. So... 
he made his dining room table was a like almost like a picnic table that he redid right with uh each side instead of had chairs had the church pews Oh, that's okay. awesome. Yeah, and he <laughs> redid them, and he reupholstered them and made this piece out of it. And people who came to his house always wanted to buy it because it was so different. Right. Um, he did a lot of picture frames. I do a lot of picture frames. I do a lot of mirrors. Okay, because you see the static quo when you go into the store, and people want something that's it's a picture frame. Mm -hmm. It's something that they want for to i guess relate back to them right. and that's a, you're not going to find it in a store you're going to have to have it done or made right. which makes some of your pieces one of a kind my pieces are all one of a kind okay there's yeah there's no way and i i make them special with the um you know i do the stenciling on them and like I say, I you know I do the different shades, different colors. They're not just painted white or painted yellow. They're always something. And um, my um, hardware is very unique. That you know I put on the, the drawer pulls or you know the hinges or whatever it is. You know they're all very unique. It takes I put a lot of time into each piece. Into each piece. Do you do? I mean, like the pieces that you do, are they big, small? Well, most of my, they have to fit in my car at this point. <laughs> or if I have a lot of them out um, and ready to deliver to the store, I'll rent a small U-Haul. I'm in, right now, I'm looking for a vehicle right. to get me from point A to point B. But um, if it's, you know, the bigger, if it's the dressers or such that um, you want done, I, at this point, will come to your house and I will do it, you know, right. at your house. Hopefully in the future, the very near future, I'll be able to, you know, pick these pieces up and do them. And it's you're looking for a work truck because you already have a beautiful car, so you're looking for a work truck that. Well, I've got a two door car that right. I'm putting. Right. All kinds of furniture <laughs> in, and I'm trying okay. to get and, it in there. And we kind of get along because I'm a I love to garage sale, okay. Yep. And I'll buy stuff. And then I'll say, how am I going to get it home? I have to call my neighbor. Really? <laughs> Can you come on down? And uh, But, yeah. I, and I'll figure out how it will. Okay. So I bought, because I take care of my mom, and she is in a wheelchair. So I put her in the car. So I needed a place to put the wheelchair instead of opening it and putting it in the car and stuff. So what I did was I bought a bicycle rack nice. for my car. Well, I had the bicycle rack, and I go to a garage sale, and they have this cute little table. It's probably, I don't know, two feet wide by a foot and a half uh, two feet long by a foot and a half wide but won't fit in my car so i'm thinking well, how do i get it home i said oh wait i'm gonna put it on the bicycle rack and then i had some bungee cords and i bungeed it down and here it is bebopping i was only like three or four blocks on my house when i lived in jersey i bought a lawnmower like seven blocks from my house and i drove it home <laughs> <laughs> okay but when you're into that it's, you really enjoy it. There's something about... Right. Okay. Now, the difference between you and I is that I'm a hoarder. And once I got it, I don't want to give it up. <laughs> no, I, I, it's funny. I was just... Uh, I was at the B&A flea market. Uh-huh. And I was going through this lady's stuff. And I found... I've been looking for a mannequin. I found this mannequin. It was hand-painted, floral, the most gorgeous thing. In the world, I pulled it out. I brought it out front as I did. It, the, everybody was coming by, going, "Oh my gosh, I love this thing!" And I said to her, "I'm like, why didn't you just put this in the front of your place? You know, look at all the business you're bringing in." Well, the didn't fit in my car, so I had to put it in with the back up, with her legs hanging out, <laughs> the back of the trunk. But she's in my shop now. She's got a beautiful dress on that's also for sale. She's for sale, but. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was like I said. It's just everything is so. Unique. Were you a hunter for those kind of things? No. But I'm saying, if you're a hunter and you only have a car, I went to Okeechobee, and it was some sort of festival, yes. and I won the the rocking chair that they have at Cracker Barrel. Oh my gosh! Well, here it is. It doesn't fit in my car, so now it's in my car. It's hanging out the window, and now all of a sudden, such a rain. And my car is new, and the windows have to be open. Oh, no. And I'm thinking about just taking this and throwing it on the side of the road. But then it slowed down, the rain slowed down, and whatever. But, yeah, we're, 
we're diehards when it comes to oh get... are you this is going to fit in the car <laughs> it is going to fit in the car you know <laughs> i don't care and i've got like chalk marks on my seats and oh, i'm my. just like yeah the bungee cords and everything that yeah I, it's gonna fit that's all there is to it and if it doesn't the neighbor comes down <laughs> <laughs> so do you keep any of the pieces for yourself it's funny because I started doing them and I put everything, that's how, when I came down here, I didn't have any furniture and I moved into a furnished place. And so I started doing um, these pieces and then I got my shop and it, my stuff just started selling so fast. I didn't even realize. And so I just started taking stuff out of my house <laughs> <laughs> and bringing it down, you know, and putting it in the shop. But yeah, I do. I do save a lot. Do you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think if you take something and you put your heart and soul into it, that's it's, it's sometimes hard to get rid of. It's very hard to get rid of. And um, there's a couple of things in there like that people... I really, really loved, <laughs> and so did they. <laughs> you know, I said, I'll put the price a little bit higher because maybe, you know, and, um, you no, know, they... Took but, it anyway. Yeah, they took it, yeah. Sometimes something has to go to a good home. I told you a story about the slot machine I got for my mom. Right. And the woman that sold it to me bought it for the same reason. Her dad was getting dementia. He loved slot machines, so they bought it for him. And when he passed away, they put it in storage. And I told him the story, and... They said, oh, my God, it's perfect for your mom. It belongs. Right. It needs to be in her home. Right. And then I took a picture of my mom playing it because my mom's going to be 90 um, and sent it to them. And they were crying when they saw the video. That is so awesome. So, but you have to realize, too, when people go into thrift stores, mm -hmm. or not just to throw, when people go into these stores, a lot of the things they see remind them of a childhood or something from their past or whatever because a lot of this stuff is so unique right and that's the reason that it's there because it is something unique it's something probably that i picked up because it was from you know my childhood or my past or repainted it as something that was in you know that reminded me of something like that and as my father would say it's probably made a hundred times better than anything made today it is amazing the stuff that i pick up how well it's bolted together the legs are on there and that you know it's dovetailed the drawers I mean, it's just gorgeous once yeah, you get it down to the wood yeah workmanship is, is much more amazing back then but so was the music and so was life in general back exactly. in my time um exactly. we get by today we don't talk to anybody basically we're on this our phones and whatever yeah, no not you know <laughs> As you can see, I'm a people person. I love people. I love to talk, and I love to um, please. And, you know, that's what I'm out to do. I, like I said, I will go find anything you want. I'll be on a mission. All right. We're running out of top of time. How do we find you? Um, I am located at the Treasure Coast Families Vendor Shops, and that's at 453 Southeast Monterey Road in Stewart. Um, you can find my things there. And you can also uh, go to my Facebook my Facebook page, which is Lamona, L-E-M-O-N-A. And um, I have all, most of my things on there. I try to update all my inventory weekly. And you can private message me if you need to get a hold of me or if you'd like me to uh, do some work for you. I mean, for me, I love people that are into crafts and know exactly what they see over and above what's right in front of them. A lot of people today can't see past their nose and that goes in furniture in basically everything nowadays everything, everything and in life <laughs> everything today because we live in a throwaway society right and we live in a throwaway society because everything today is made like junk yep. so when you go hunting and you find these pieces that are just made really really well and real quick because i know we got to go but my dad's philosophy to my mom was what are you buying? It's, we're going to have to replace it in six months or eight months. You put stuff in drawers and the bottom falls out. Yeah. Okay. The stuff that you, you find that's from the past, it's just not made like that. No. It's made to That's why it's to still here. Yep. I, 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 and it, that's utterly amazing to think of the craftsmanship that we had and then look at what stuff we got today. Young people don't know any different. Well, also, um, real quickly, you have to also know that not only are you getting a piece of quality furniture, 
but I am also taking that furniture and sanding it down and you know putting the you know the paint putting the time and everything into it the love because I just it's a passion I love doing it and I do it for everybody to enjoy it somebody to enjoy it so yeah she's got a good piece of furniture plus she's also got heart and soul that's cool <laughs> check out Lamona Steph I want to thank you for coming on thank you Wayne it's a pleasure we'll be right back Thank you.